friends and welcome back to my channel. We are starting day 18's vlog on day 19 and I have a good reason for this. We're introducing two new boxes to the mix and I know that I'm not going to have enough time to explain it tomorrow. So I'm going to start by explaining it today. So uh, we are familiar with Fangirl Fibers boxes because I have uh, three of them currently. I've got the Disney villains, I've got the Haunted America and I've got the cryptids that I open on Mondays. Well, this is day, this is a 13 day advent in which um, it is all about creepy Alice. So I wanna make sure that I, I do a good job explaining this. So I poked myself with my scissors. Good job, Abigail. 13 days of dark Alice in creepy land. So there are these items right here. So we've got the 31st, the 30th, the 29th, the 28th, the 27th, the 26th, the 25th, 24th, 23rd, 22nd, oh, 22nd. 21st, 20th, yep, 20th and the 19th. So this is going to go into my bag to open tomorrow. So it's Dark Alice, October 19th. And there was also some stuff on top that I needed to sort of explain why there's extras. So obviously if it's Alice in Wonderland, we have a drink me. This is black tea, green tea, white tea, oolong, green rubios, elderberries, blackberries, jasmine, sunflower. Damn, they threw everything in this tea. Um, sunflower, rose, rose uh, mallow, cornflower, petals, and natural flavors. Then uh, eat me. And then do you suppose she is a wildflower? We've got a needle minder to go with it. These items were on top. Um, so they are part of the whole box rather than a, a thing to open for the whole time. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, um, the, so instead of putting this as day 19, it's just an, an extra thing on top. So have another thing of this popcorn, which I really enjoyed yesterday, Sunday. So I'll probably also enjoy it today. Another thing of tea and another needle minder. So I will bring those things with me to um, snack on. And then next up, we have a Forbidden Fibers box. This is 13 days of Halloween. So there was items on top of this one as well. So there are tons of things in here that I need to um, explain because the things that you open are going to be floss. You might remember um, back in uh, December last year um, when I did... Uh, Vlogmas, we had a pattern that we were working on every day. So it's something similar, but we have goodies also. So I'm going to go ahead and open those as well. So we have a uh, project bag. This is like a potions, witches brew kind of inspired bag. And the, um, got a black cap for the zipper pull. We've got uh, 18 count uh, an eighth of a yard of Spellbound um, Opalescent Ada, which is quite beautiful. I'll go ahead and show you that. So I'll insert a picture of this here. Also inside the box, we have tons of other things that we need to discuss. So there's these envelopes here. These are going to be the flosses that I was telling you about earlier. So each day we'll open a floss, not a goodie. So the goodies are in the box. These are flosses that we open up each day. So day one is right here. I hope this is day one. I hope that I'm, hope that I'm right on that. Um, so let's see. The cross stitch pattern and colors were printed especially for the box. The pattern is printed in black and white because each color floss is individually packaged for a daily surprise. Stitch each color as you open it or open them all at once. The choice is yours. 
So the pattern being discussed is uh, Forbidden Fibers and it's called Witch's Ride. So each day we'll open up one of these envelopes and we'll get to stitch whatever is charted in that specific color. So day one will be, I'm not sure which one, but we'll be able to see which, um, what the the pattern calls for what what is the what's the word i'm looking for the key the symbol oh my god so i'll be able to see which symbol goes where and i will stitch those pieces on that specific day i am however going to see how big this is supposed to be it's supposed to be 10 i'll figure that out later that's not something we need to worry about now but i did want to explain that these envelopes are going to get open like that so i will throw that in the to open tomorrow pile we also received this uh, resin piece here. It is a pumpkin with a witch's hat on it. It is, I figured it out already once because I had to open it to make sure it wasn't broken because it was rolling around in there. So pumpkin with a witch's hat. So it's probably like a little witch's house. It's kind of cute. You can put stuff in there. So that's that item. And then there's more in there. We've got a pumpkin chai candle made by Forbidden Fibers, which is a company, the box company. And then we've got this needle minder. It says, I put a spell on you. Also by um, Forbidden Fibers. We've got some floss drops here. Um, this one is Zombie Elixir. This one is Vampire Blood. This one is a Death Decoration. This one is Ghost Tears. This one is Bat's Brew. And finally, Witch's Brew. So, and it comes with a little charm of an owl on it. And some more envelopes in there. And then we've got some candy. So that is the box in its entirety. Um, so while I could have dedicated an entire video just to this box, I decided to include it with Vlogoween because um, I'm going to be opening the envelopes each day. So it was important that I kind of explain this really quickly before um, you and I both know that I would be struggling over my words if I was on my way to work when I was saying them. So with that in mind, I'm going to send you into day 19 for real. Good spooky morning. Uh, we stopped at Starbucks today. Most importantly, I got water because I woke up this morning incredibly thirsty and I was tempted to just chug a whole like water bottle and I totally would have done it except for that <sighs> the water is in my pantry and unfortunately the pantry had an explosion recently in which everything that was inside of a bucket on a shelf, the bucket went And when I say bucket, I mean toy bucket and it was just a bunch of toys that are not played with very often that should really go um, away from my house. But they were stored in uh, like a low shelf, on a low shelf I should say. Um, and. I can't remember what even happened. Um, anyway, either way, the freaking bucket fell and it's, I have not had the energy or the wherewithal to do any type of cleaning of the pantry. And that's the truth. Um, I got Starbucks again this morning. Leaving early to get Starbucks is really only possible on days that I work at well, I guess it's possible all the time. I'm just lazy and don't want to get out of bed. But I also have not been sleeping very well lately because I have been doing this thing called I ran out of melatonin and I have not bought more. I don't know if I'm going to because melatonin is not actually good for you. Where is that whistling coming from? You know how like when you have a window open or something and it like kind of like whistles at you? I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, I don't know if I, I want, I want to be able to sleep, but right now 
I think the melatonin that I had purchased last. So I usually buy Ollie's Extra Strength and typically I'm able to go to sleep and wake up just fine. But I started taking this one from Dollar General because uh, my sister gets hers from there. And I took her to get hers when she was at my house. And I took it and for the entire time that I had been taking it, um, it's incredibly difficult to wake up and I can't shake being groggy all day. Like I am truly like in a phase, like or not a phase, a haze. I'm in a haze all day long after taking that. And that's not what you really want from melatonin. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to have a haze kind of over you all day after you take melatonin friggin' eight to ten hours before or even longer. This mother trucker is not gonna let me over. I'm gonna let my damn self over. Maybe you gonna find out. Anyways. So um yeah so that that's 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 really what's going on. So um, I hope that you enjoyed the clip um, that I provided from you. Well, provided. I filmed yesterday um, to sort of explain the addition of two new boxes. I'm really excited about the Alice box. Um, obviously, the majority of the um, Forbidden Fibers box was kind of already displayed to you. So, although I'm very excited about that box, I am not as excited anymore because the excitement was all the goodies inside obviously the pattern yeah mm -hmm. and and you know the mystery of the the um the mystery of the uh why can't i think of the right word the mystery of the floss obviously the mystery of the floss um as well i do like that format where you get um a new floss every other day or every day. I think I will buy their Holiday Express one again. Well, it's not Holiday Express. It, it's Holiday Express, but the it's not called Holiday Express. The theme is Holiday Express. Last year was Yule Ball. Um, I think I will probably buy that box just because um, I really enjoyed um, having a pattern to stitch uh, every day. <laughs> was fun for me it was like um it came together of course the thing is is that like I got linen last year and I will not do that again if I can help it um just because no thank you um I just got a box recently where I have linen oh it's a stitchy box the stitchy box gives you a piece of linen it doesn't give you a selection and I would like to stitch on linen someday, but I'm not comfortable in my abilities right now because um, when I've used linen in the past, I have accidentally screwed up and um, ended up doing um, like miscounting. And you can throw your pattern off by half a stitch. And it's like throwing your pattern off by one stitch is easy to calibrate, but throwing it off by half a stitch not as easy and my border was off too so I had to come up with this cute way to fix it which I'm okay with the way I fixed it I'll be honest I thought that that was incredibly engineer ingen ingenuitive of me to be three months in the stitching game well September October November well three to four months into the stitching game and um, have tried linen at all and then to have messed up and been able to come up with a solution to fix it. I think that was pretty good. Also, peep my headband. It's um, little candies and stuff for Halloween. I'm living my best spooky life while I can. My sister expressed to me that Halloween was over last night. And it turns out that we have the same feeling about um, Halloween. We're very much of the mindset that like the buildup is the holiday for us. Um, and then once it's over, it's like, 
devastating almost to me. Uh, road work ahead. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. That's a vine for you. Hope you enjoyed that vine. You might not even know what vine is. <laughs> it was, um, it was a thing for a while. I'm trying to suck this coffee down as best I can. So that, um, doesn't melt because it's a frappuccino so the luxury of it is that it's a an ice blended beverage so kind of suck the coffee down but also remember to hydrate I packed a whole bunch of snacks for today um, because I got to peep the menu for work yes yesterday for today like I looked at the menu yesterday the menu that was for today and it's like grotesque and like I should stop eating it in the cafeteria because I know um, the cafeteria <laughs> but I don't always have the energy to pack my own lunch which sounds terrible like if my son wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for school got it no problem if my husband wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich you got it you want to babe Abigail wants a peanut butter and jelly sandwich bitch I'm not making nothing like, I forget to feed myself so much. Like, honestly, I will go and tight. Like, if I'm off for two days or whatever and there is nothing for me to eat, I just won't eat. Like, I'm not the type of person who's going to, like, make a meal for one. You know what I mean? Like, I was never the type of person who was meant to be uh, single or childless because I will just either eat fast food or I won't eat because I'm like... I. I don't get me wrong like I enjoy cooking occasionally I enjoy making food yesterday no Sunday I made tacos and those tacos were um, great they were homemade because I usually buy a, a seasoning sauce it's um, it's like a tomato based sauce with delightful seasoning in it but um, my husband doesn't like it very much and it just so happened that I didn't have it so he got lucky in that regard. <laughs> so um, I just freaking took a can of tomato paste out and kind of, you know, mixed some water into it, threw it in the, in the pan with the beef. I added cumin and um, garlic powder and salt and pepper and smoked paprika. And I feel like I added something else, but it wasn't my favorite type of taco, but my husband and my son were loving it. And so I'm going to call that a win. Um, I made a pound of ground beef with that. And then we eat about half of it with um, street taco shells. And then uh, the next day we made uh, nachos with it. So um, we added... Um, Beans. Hold on, sorry, I gotta change lanes here. And this guy's being stupid, and the guy in front of him is going slow, so I gotta, you know. Oh my god, what the hell are you freaking doing? You don't come to a stop before you freaking get into another lane. Like, what the hell's going on? These people are nuts. Anyways, I'm trying to avoid what happened yesterday where I'm like, I'm not paying attention. I'm paying attention now, but I'm almost paying too much attention. Um, yeah, we just, we had uh, nachos. On Monday um, yesterday was Tuesday um, I don't want to tell you what we ate because you'll judge me because I just said that I enjoy cooking sometimes um, yesterday I actually didn't make dinner at all um, we like nobody was hungry and then by the time that people were hungry it was like 7 o'clock at night so I just threw some mozzarella in a um, giant tortilla and made quesadillas for my son and I and my husband was like I don't want to eat that I'm going to make myself an egg and you know what sometimes as moms especially 
listen, here, PSA for all moms, okay? But this one goes double for working moms. Sometimes it's okay to freaking give your kids quesadillas for dinner. Sometimes it's okay for, you know, everyone to have to sort of fend for themselves for dinner. Even if it's like, like if, if, you're, if your solution to not knowing what to cook is eating out, but you can't do that every single day because A, it's not healthy, and B, it's expensive. It is okay for your kids to eat a freaking tortilla with some cheese and sour cream in it for dinner one time when you literally were not hungry two hours ago or if it's freaking a, a long day, okay? It's okay, okay? And that goes double time for working moms. And you know what? It is okay for your husband to eat a damn egg for dinner. And I'll tell you why. Because I offered him a quesadilla and he didn't want it. So you don't want what I'm offering to make you? Go have an egg or two or whatever he had. Of course, I could tell that he had eggs the next morning because guess what? The shells were still out. I mean, at least it was on a paper towel. But, um, there was two shells out and the butter was left out last night. So This is how come men should not cook unless they clean up after themselves. Okay, of course, I can't say anything. I literally can't say anything. I can't, I cannot complain one iota because I have dishes in the sink from Sunday. Because we had the same thing again on Monday, basically. So I didn't do dishes on Sunday. And then I didn't do dishes on Monday, okay? And then I didn't even cook yesterday. It's like they're rinsed, they're rinsed. They just need to actually be washed. So don't judge me or judge me. I don't really give a shit, quite frankly. Like I do the best I can every single day. And if I didn't do the best I could that day, well, guess what? I'll try again tomorrow. Like you have to, you have to be willing to pick your battles and dishes are a battle I'm never willing to pick. <clears throat> if you come to my house and you look at my kitchen sink for whether or not we can be friends, then you could just leave my house because there will always be dishes in my sink. Always. Always. And there will always be dirty laundry some freaking where. Because those are the two chores that I literally cannot keep up with. Like laundry, can't keep up with it. Because it, it like, it, 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 it's just, especially with three people because like, everyone has their day clothes and then they come home and they take a shower and then they have their second day clothes or sometimes we just I just get into pajamas like I'm not playing but you have at minimum two items of clothes two uh two outfit changes or an outfit change every single day so you have two outfits that are dirty at the end of every day and dishes like I well, I don't cook like one pot meals. Like, I'm not the type of mom who's like, all right guys, we're gonna have a crock pot. Because first of all, I don't fool that crock potness because I don't eat the kind of meats that like fall apart in a crock pot. So I don't do that. I could do beef stew and chili, but even so, I still, even so, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I do make one pot recipes. I make, I make, beef stew occasionally oh today oh i forgot to tell you guys today is the first hint of fall that we've had in florida i woke up this morning and it was a crisp 68 and it is gonna stay around 70 72 i think the highest it was supposed to get was 71 72 all day and for some floridians they will wear winter coats like they're dying like they like I, I can tell you what cold feels like I lived in Maine bro I could tell you um, like not you but like Florida I could tell you what with what cold feels like in other states but these people will bundle inevitably you've got two types of Floridians the type of Floridian who is gonna wear their friggin flip-flops tank tops and shorts no matter what 
and then you've got the type that's gonna act like they're dying today and they need to wear a winter coat winter boots and the likes I'll let you guess what kind of Floridian I am anyways we are here these vlogs when I go to Starbies are longer because I live closer to my job than Starbies is and I actually gonna have to go out of my way a little bit to get Starbucks but considering that this vlog so far has been right around well this this clip I should say because the other clip was obviously before it but this this particular clip was 18 minutes so the fact that this clip has been 18 minutes and um, that's not really bad like time wise of course you do have to add driving from my house to Starbucks is as a I'm not saying I'm gonna go to Starbucks every day I'm just saying that occasionally it wouldn't be the end of the world like I had to leave super early to make today and yesterday happen but the point of this is that I could I'm not going to but I could all right let's park here today let's park here all right let's do this okay I'll buckle put my car in park turn it off turn off the light boop okay so today as you saw in the clip from before my son's still pillow my son's still my son's still pillow my son's pillow is still here um, but as you saw from the earlier clip we've got more than just one thing or more than just three things to open today I'll tell you what when it's Monday again it's gonna be rough <laughs> Oh no, I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, stitchy box. Haunted America. Disney villain. And then you might remember the dark uh, uh, Alice from Fangirl Fibers. And the Forbidden Fibers uh, floss number one. So, as always, we will start with stitchy box. I kind of do this because this is my least favorite excuse me this is my least favorite and so I kind of start with it just in case it's not great and then um can kind of build from it I find that I like my boxes to be themed um which is see again my eyebrow disappears when this light goes on but look it's there guys see I've got eyebrows anyways I felt the need to share that um I find that I really like theme boxes better um, because like I'm more I'm more excited to open the Haunted America box and the fan the um, Disney villain box and I, I feel like I'll be excited to open this one I mean, this one was just kind of witch themed so I mean it's a theme but the theme wasn't like Alice in Wonderland Disney villains or Haunted America or anything so I digress stitchy box day 19 it is a tanny color it's taupe I guess that's what they're that's what they're calling it I mean I guess I mean yeah sure I guess that's taupe day 19 stitchy silk floss great for mummy wrappings or old Victorian lace for x the for the extra creepy the extra creepy kind okay so um that's not bad it's limited edition French spun silk in the colorway taupe so I will insert a photo here So that is what it looks like. I mean, it's fine. I, I prefer to get stuff like this over like scissors and beads because every single box I've gotten from Stitchy Box has had scissors. Every single box I've gotten from all, all places except for Fangirl Fiber so far has had scissors. Day 19 Haunted America. It's got a little bit of condensation from the coffee on it. So let's open that just in case. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got a pattern yesterday. The, um, I have it here. I have it with me. I didn't take it out of my bag. What pattern was it? It was, oh, the saloon, the Oxford saloon. So today we got the pattern or yesterday we got the pattern for Oxford saloon. 
today we've got the floss and a spooky story. Beast of Bray Road, Elkhorn, Wisconsin. The Beast of Bray Road, also known as the Bray Road Beast and the Wisconsin Werewolf, is a purported humanoid wolf-like creature allegedly witnessed in or near the rural community of Elkhorn. Elkhorn, yeah, it is Elkhorn, okay. Elkhorn, Walworth County, Wisconsin. It has since become a part of Wisconsin's folklore and has been the subject of multiple books, documentaries, and a 2005 horror film. Name the farm, name for the farm road in which it was first, <laughs> excuse me, first, oh, and thank you, I know somebody will bless me. <laughs> it was the first alleged sighting. Reports of the creature in the 1980s and 1990s uh, prompted a local newspaper, the Walworth County Week, to assign a reporter, Linda Godfrey, to cover the story. Godfrey was initial, initially skeptical, but later became convinced of the sincerity of the witnesses. Her series of articles later became a book titled The Beast Bray Road. The Beast of Bray Road, Tailing Wisconsin's Werewolf. Reports of a similar creature in the neighboring state of Michigan also tell an, of an alleged wolf-like humanoid, the Michigan Dogman. So, our spooky story is a werewolf, which is... I don't know what I was expecting. Every other one's been ghosts, but that is interesting. Floss for Oxford Rose. The thing that I like about it is that even if, even if that particular pattern, like I, I don't know if I'll ever stitch um, the woman in white from a couple days ago, or the beginning of the week. I don't know if I'll ever stitch that because of how much white it is. And like, you can give me a pattern of, give me a whole entire black pattern, 310 all day. And the same goes for stitching and diamond painting. If the more 310 for me, the more I'm having fun. Just, that's just who I am and why, I, I, I don't know. But that's just who I am. So when I'm given something that has a whole bunch of white, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. There's something about color blocking white that I'm just not down for. And there's something that, about color blocking uh, 310. All day, baby. All day. Okay. Next up, we have the Disney villains. The 19. And our villain for the day is... Somebody is parked right in front of me now. Today's villain is Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. And it is... I'm having a difficult time reading. Is this orange? It's it's like a deep red tone orange. It's very pretty. I'll insert a photo here. Okay, they got out of the car, so that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. So that was Gaston day 19. Okay, so we are now getting into the, um, can your lights go off? They're kind of blinding. They're actually probably better for you. I imagine they'll go off eventually. She's gone. Sometimes cars have delayed reactions. I hope they go off though. Uh, and day one, technically, of Dark Alice. This is the brand new box that I explained yesterday. And our color, or our, our, it's a, it's a floss and it's called Go Ask Alice. It's seven yards of 100% silk and it's six ply thread. It is absolutely stunning. It's, it's a, uh, gosh, it's like a, it's like a deep, it's like a, it's like a deep aqua. I'll show you. Absolutely stunning. And finally, the first floss from Forbidden Fibers. I don't know what color I'm expecting. I hope it's fun. Oh, okay. So Forbidden Fibers, it's Adder's Fork. And it is 
gray to purple. It's incredible. I hope that it's, it's, it's like, uh, got a lot of floss today. Everything was floss, wasn't it? It was, everything was floss. Oh my goodness, a very flossy day. Well, there's your title. Stitchy Box, floss. Disney uh, Villains was floss. Haunted America, floss. First day of Dark Alice was floss. And then every day will be floss with this one. But very flossy day. It's beautiful, I'll show you here. So yeah, that was, uh, that was Adder's Fork. It's like gray to warm purple. It's, it's incredible. Okay, so a very flossy day today. I kind of have a, I have a grape. I have a grape. This is a beautiful color and it has a sticker on it that says go ask Alice I kind of wish that all the Disney villains would have had that sticker because I'm gonna have to write the villain that it's inspired by on every single one now or tape the card to it which is not the end of the world by any means but I kind of wish that the sticker was on those ones as well um, just because I have several um, fan girl fibers things and it's not going to be like easy to differentiate and and I don't know it's not a big deal it's not even really a gripe it's more of like oh kind of wish that had stickers on mine or you know what I'm saying I may eat my lip cream breakfast of champions anyways I guess it's not really a gripe or a complaint so much as it is like a like a ah I wish I wish mine had stickers too you know anyways let me let me not forget to drink my water so I can be a hydrated beach anyways I hope that you enjoyed this video this long vlog Thanks for being with me for the long haul for the last 19 days. We're, we're you know, gearing up for uh, Halloween here, I guess. I mean, we don't really do much for Halloween other than go trick-or-treating. And I don't even have his costume yet. Oop, shit. I hope my horn. Don't tell anyone. I leaned on the, I leaned on the horn. Anyways, um, yeah, we don't do anything for Halloween, and I gotta get his costume. That needs to get got, and that needs to get got like today. Otherwise, there won't be a costume purchased. Is today Wednesday? Oh, I can just have my husband buy the costume. Okay, so I will do that. All right, I'm gonna go because. I think I have to go to work now. It's crazy. I don't want to do that. At least I charge my headphones. Last yesterday was miserable. Miserable. I didn't have my headphones. And so anything I watched, I had to be like really close to it because I can't play it out loud at work. I mean, I I did, but like I can't like play it top volume. Like normally I have the ability to like listen in a headphone and then I can walk away from it. Like I can just like leave it playing and just kind of like go about the, the office, whatever. So that sucked. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me and would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. All right, I'm gonna go take pictures of my floss. To insert for you yeah thanks so much for watching this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you like me and would like to see more from me please hit subscribe i'd be so happy to have you i hope that you guys are washing your hands taking care of yourselves no wash your hands i hope you guys are being safe wash your hands taking care of yourselves drinking water and not honking horns in the work parking lot what is wrong with you